Okay, this is a more detailed installation video that might help you when you actually purchase one of our shifters and want to fit it. So first up, remove your standard shifter, remove the offset lever, which is the cast section that fits on the shaft here. Um, remove the reverse lockout from the left side of the gearbox and fit the cover plate that we provide. Next, you'll have to fit our shaft fitting. Slide that on there. Next up, fit the base plate. You've got to fit the three M8 countersunk bolts. It's um, good to put a little bit of Loctite on these because they don't have a lot of actual shaft outside of the thread, so it's good to um, just give them something to make them grab up. The next step is to fit the shim plate. We put these in there for variances between gearboxes. As it stands, the only ones that have actually needed to remove or fit more shim plates are when people do a, basically a tail housing swap using a Magnum front end usually with a Commodore or GTA if you're in America tail housing. Let's just line that up carefully. Rotate this shaft fitting so that the groove is facing upwards. Get your shifter and make sure it's in neutral. It's important to do this before you put it on. Just put that forwards. Make sure you're actually in neutral. You should be able to remove the reverse lockout up and down. And it should be like that. Put it in the first gear position, which will be all the way up on the lever. Now just slide this ball here into the groove on the shaft fitting and drop this section into the recess. Trying to line the shim plate so you can get the bolts in easily in a moment. It should fit basically on centre, but there's a reason we have the oversized holes because every gearbox is a little bit different, so this compensates for those differences. Now, usually, I just fit the two longer bolts while we check that everything's in the right position. First up we'll rotate the reverse lockout and just check that it moves freely like that. Um, that'll let us know that it probably is centered inside the gates correctly. Make sure it's up in the first gear position and just check that it can come through all the gears like that. We're back to neutral there, push it down, we go across to reverse, and back to first, neutral. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, we know this is in the right position. I've fit the other four bolts. We've got the another one back here. We've got a hex one at the front here that goes all the way through um, into the gearbox housing. So put that down into there. It's got a square washer, not a countersunk washer like these ones. And the most important fact that a lot of people do skip, but is absolutely necessary. Once you know this is in the right position, we've got to drill some holes in the back here and fit these roll pins. Now this will stop it all shuffling around under hard shifts. Because if you do leave this like this and you go out there and thrash it, it will move a little bit and it'll jam up and you won't be happy. So make sure you fit these roll pins. It also makes it really easy. If you ever pull it off, bam, it goes on straight where the roll pins are straight up. I think that's pretty much the entire equipment. We've also got the gear indicator and position sensors that you might want to use. Um, they box on the other side. Oh, another important thing, if you don't fit the position sensor, you must fit these screws to the two holes where the position sensor would fit. Otherwise, oil's going to come out the holes because they go right through.